What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. We're in the Clutch. Hey, hey. back to ladies and gentlemen, another busy today. You feel me? Top 10. Booker Ten. T's greatest catchphrases by none other than the homie wrestling flashback, man. Wrestling flashback. Hey, this is, I had to check this out with the homie, man, because it's Booker T, bro. We, some hey, of our favorite videos on this channel is his, uh, hilarious commentary, commentary bro man. crazy man. so we had to check this out on the main page because we know y'all will love when we we uh check out some of booker t's funniest moments and shout out to him man he is a goat in his in just in the wrestling business for sure you know what i'm saying a houstonian you know what i'm saying and I, I love to love to see booker t still out there providing boys with the great commentary e even in nxt shucky so. ducky quack quack, quack, quack. Yeah, let's do this man. let's run it up man <laughs> hey man make sure y'all hit them likes man let's see uh, if we can get to man. five to 10k likes man you know what i'm saying i think y'all can do it i have faith in y'all man y'all know we miss these booker t's so let's go is this on right? Booker T has proven time and time again just how much of an immensely entertaining and versatile performer he is. Whether he was a wrestler, commentator, Spinner. analyst, or general manager, Booker has been memorable in every role. And throughout Dog. his decorated Dog. career, he established an iconic dance move, cut mm -hmm. countless fantastic promos, and had many hilarious calls on commentary. <laughs> we'll pay tribute to Booker T today <laughs> as we list his top 10 catchphrases. Before we start the list, we'll first take a look at some honorable mentions. You gotta love it. Come on. Tell Rio, you gotta love it. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta love, love it. One, two, three, you gotta love it. How can you not love the balance? You gotta love it. Wait you gotta minute. love it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I am an intense competitor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That table is not broken. Wait a minute. So he said, but the legs. Whoa. Oh. 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 And look at this. <laughs> Bro, them what the hell is so bro, like? It's so oh, serious. They bro. are, bro. What the hell? It's like not scripted at all. What I the love hell? it. Big Show is cleaning house. Oh, no. What the hell? What the hell? That's my big homie. Who not my big homie. Hell? That's my big homie. Mm. Oh, oh, not bro. my big homie. Mm. Mm. Jordan now. Mm. But mm. Esther was crushed. Yes, sir. <laughs> Right back to the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he down with long. No bread, no water. Yes, it's just me. No bread. He don't want no salad. All he wants is he don't want no salad. I said it before about Brock Lesnar. He don't want no water. He don't want no bread. All he wants is meat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying about bread? No bread, no, <laughs> no water, water, just meat. Just <laughs> Brock Lesnar. No bread, no, no water, water, just meat. meat. That's all he wants. Hey, look at you. Just meat. This music, man. This. Cody the red nosed reindeer had a very broken nose. Happy birthday to you. Happy work birthday to you. I believe Alright, we got the point last week. Billy resisted a brutal. Billy, it's in the hand. Booker T, Booker T. I'm not your son, God, son, God. Number ten. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This was one phrase Booker loved to repeat. <laughs> this is Triple H right here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Don't do it, Big Show. Oh Don't do it. Don't do it. There were shows where he said this up to 10 times on commentary, <laughs> including multiple times in the same match. The line always worked best whenever <laughs> Booker would draw it out. To Rosa Mendes, and now it's breaking down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Did you just see Cara? Oh, my goodness. Strong words from Mark Henry. Alberto Del Rio. Mr. Money in the Bank. My goodness. Right oh, now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Love a skid mark on that. <laughs> <laughs> the steaming pot of neck bones. The old 
like a steaming pot of neck bones. bones. This was a phrase taught to Booker by his brother, Stevie Ray. It's gonna be on like neck bones. It was one of Book's go to phrases when hyping up a big show or match. It's gonna be on like a steaming pot of neck bones. It's gonna be on like a steaming pot of neck bones. It's gonna be on like neck bones. It's on like neck bones. Give me the it's on like a. Like a steaming pot of neck bones. Go. It's going to be old like a steaming pot of neck bones. Probably my favorite phrase. Yep. Number eight, old English words. You are truly, truly a person. The most fun Booker had in his career was during his time as King Booker. King Booker. The you're looking at right now is a peasant. Big for all of you peasants. You're nothing more than a traitorous peasant. Book became the most memorable king of the ring winner of all time Excellent. by going all in on the gimmick, behaving God. like a true king and speaking in a British accent. Who is this rogue? <laughs> rogue Batista. This rogue Batista. Get that rogue up. He even spoke no. in old English, which made for some incredibly <laughs> funny television. In that turncoat, my royal knight, Finley. This Judas. This, this Judas. This, this Judas. This is a Benedict Arnold right here. This is all Benedicts. What is this unsightly maiden? Booker, <laughs> Booker. Did you understand a thing? I don't speak in buttons. <laughs> Number don't. seven. Kiss my ring don't. or kiss my feet. Kiss my ring. Another big part of the King Booker character was the way he made wrestlers <laughs> kiss his royal ring and feet. This was the ultimate form of humiliation, as the king made his rivals bow down and forcibly worship him. Kiss my ring. Oh, kiss my feet. Kiss my feet. Let this sucker kiss through. my feet. Yes. You peasant! Man, you peasant! Kiss my royal feet! I got oh. the ugliest damn toes and yes. hammer toes. <laughs> oh, no! oh my god! Number god. six, hilarious commentary moments. Booker's run on commentary was proof that everything he Batch. touches turns to gold. His commentary was often the highlight of Raw and SmackDown mm -hmm. each week. Booker would say things so absurd that all we could do is laugh. <laughs> You're looking real jack, baby. You're looking real jack. You're looking real jack, baby. You're looking good. Look at the rolls. So, look at the rolls. Look at the rolls. Look at the rolls. Oh, man. Two guys. Somebody call Child Protective Service. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Here you go. Stop up with like a busy. Oh, boy. Unpredictable. And you know what unpredictable means, right? Not able to be predicted. Good to go. That's what you are. You know I had a dream. You died. Dog, you know, dog, that that's that still one of the all time like funniest, top funniest moments, bro. Funniest lines on commentary. It's like WWE fam, how, how how you get on somebody that bad about being ugly? <laughs> I know Vince that was you had dying dream. laughing, bro. He, he had to be laughing in the back, like, bro. So you know, you ugly. You know, I had a dream, dream you died. died. Like, <laughs> damn. Just, damn, bro. That's gold. Bro, that's gold, bro. Comedy hey, gold. This one right here, when he was in TNA, yeah. you know, commentating while he's beating up people. Yeah. 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 Number five, Shucky Ducky, quack quack. Oh. Shucky Ducky, quack quack. quack. Shucky I can't ducky, wait to see him on WrestleMania. <laughs> Book's most iconic catchphrase on commentary was borrowed from comedian and fellow Texan Shucky Ducky. What does Shucky Ducky quack quack mean? Uh, it's, a, it's a term. You it's stole term. the line from an old time comedian. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I've never oh, heard that before. Oh. The line got over See, what huge are you and is about? still used by Booker on commentary and pre show panels today. Mm -hmm. Shucky Ducky. Check this out right here. Quack quack. <laughs> oh, Shucky Ducky. Quack. Quack, Shucky, Ducky, Quack, 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 Quack, Shucky,
Five-time WCW yeah, champion. Five-time, 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 WCW champion. Booker was one of World Championship Wrestling's driving forces. Mm. He started out in the tag division, then oh, wrestled yeah. in the mid-card, which led him to the main event. Nick. All the while, he racked up championship after championship, <laughs> including the WCW Championship five times. Mm -hmm. The fact that Booker made sure we didn't forget. Mm -hmm. Five-time, 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 Number three, King Very Booker. King Booker. <laughs> hey there, Book. This King Booker. Booker. <laughs> King Booker. Can I disagree with you, Booker? Hey, oh, hey. that's King Booker. <laughs> Booker. King Booker's pronunciation of old English words already real. had us rolling laughing. Oh. But the way he pronounced his own name was the icing on the cake. King Booker. King Booker. King Booker. King Booker. King Booker. King Booker. <laughs> It was also Dog. funny to see the king get angry, as when this happened, Booker's real accent and way of speaking mm -hmm. returned. Congratulations, yeah, Booker. You have officially lost your status as a black man. Dog. <laughs> One night. The queen. <laughs> what? Okay. You're sick and twisted. I was never going to take your wife. Calm down, man. You need to back up. Because I'll bring you out of retirement. And then I'll put hey, you hey, right hey, back hey, in. Hey, hey, <laughs> say that right now in my face. <laughs> you make me sick. Shut the hell up. Oh, Batista it. gets an opportunity uh -oh. at the world title at Survivor Series. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, yeah. In a steel cage. Oh, you got that? Hell no. <laughs> hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, 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 oh. The Undertaker. Oh, oh. The Undertaker. <laughs> hell no. His King Booker pronunciation didn't fit into either of his accents, as it was something different and just plain hilarious. King Booker! Oh, bro, he's great, bro. Goated, bro. King Booker! King Booker! Number two, tell me you didn't just say that. He didn't say that. Tell me. He didn't. <laughs> Just say that. In WCW, Booker T was a straight-faced, serious character. Wrestling-wise, mm -hmm. he was outstanding, but it wasn't until he joined the WWF that Book found his groove when it came to the sports entertainment side of things. Mm -hmm. The Tell Me You Didn't Just Say That line was used early on in Booker's WWF run. You didn't say that. Tell me you did not just say that. It got over fast and quickly became a staple of his promos and segments. Mm -hmm. You didn't say that. Tell me. He didn't just say that. Did he what? Tell me. <laughs> he didn't just say that. You, you didn't say that. Tell me you didn't just say that. Tell me he didn't just say that. Tell me you didn't just say that. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I don't look like that. <laughs> Tell me what? I don't look like that. Bro, tell me. I didn't I'm waiting for the Vince McMahon one. When he said that. the N word. I'm oh, waiting. yeah. I didn't see that. <laughs> I'm waiting for that clip. I <laughs> tell me. <laughs> I did not just see that. Number Time. one, can you dig that? Of sucker? course. Man. Did you dig, dig it? That Come on, sucker? man. <laughs> there could only be one catchphrase that topped the list. From mm -hmm. the moment Booker made his entrance, that yep. opening line just drew us in. Love it, bro. Then, when Booker finished his promos, the fans would recite the phrase once again. Mm -hmm. Did you dig that sucker? In wrestling, an effective closing line could have a big impact, and Booker T Facts. had one of the best. It actually came from some movie back in the 70s that I used to watch, you know, the movie The Warriors. Did you dig it, suckers? Wow. Did you dig Didn't that even know that. That's crazy. Sucker! 
Iconic. You did mm-hmm. that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the jazz for the cowboy hat? He said, please say. Sucker! <laughs> he had to try not to laugh on that one. <laughs> Sucker! Can you dig that? Sucker! Because commentary had us thinking, Bro. wait a minute, tell me you didn't just say that. But you gotta love it because that's just who the five time WCW mm-hmm. champion mm-hmm. was. No five matter time. what the hell he was five saying, time. if Booker T was on screen, then it was on like a steaming pot of neck bones. Yep. Especially when he went rogue as King Booker, demanding all the peasants kiss my feet. Whenever that happened, it was the shucky ducky quack quack <laughs> moment of the night every time. Now, can you dig that? Sucker! Oh, and that man. brings us to the end of this video. Oh, As always, bro. if you enjoyed the video, be no, sure to give man, it a like and subscribe to the channel. Hey, he's he's gold, if you like this one, be sure to... Bro, he's bo- he's golden, man. He Let's is golden, bro. Let's book it to you, bro. Shout out to Wrestling Flashback. To, yeah, man, uh, for putting for this together. This, man. Link to the original video down below. Y'all go subscribe to him. For sure. Dude makes some <laughs> awesome wrestling content that bring you back down memory lane, man. So. And which one was y'all favorite part? Oh man, it's as, just... as a kid growing up, man, which one <laughs> which one did you recite the most? What part of Booker T was just like your opening uh probably entrance to seeing him? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let us know in the comments down below, man. Booker T is definitely goaded. Um and this is of course he has some of the by far some of the most hilarious phrases, bro. For like, sure. You just, and he just comes with it spot mm-hmm. on. But if y'all enjoyed it, y'all already know what to do, man. Make sure y'all run them likes up, man. Let YouTube know if y'all rocking with us, man. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos as well, man. Continue to follow your homies on social media and keep spreading love, being love. We'll catch y'all in the next one, all right? Peace out. All right. This is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.